biggest things that I've learned as working with authors is that working on a book, particularly as a college or grad student, is an interesting thing, and that a lot of people are gonna be like, holy cow, you're writing a book, because it's cool, right? I mean, that's very unusual to write a book while you're in college or in graduate school, and so you're gonna to wanna to tell people that one. And what's gonna happen right away when you say, hey, I'm writing a book? What's gonna be the response that you're gonna get? Yeah, what's the book about, right? And as I told you, like, you don't actually need to know what your book is about for like two months. So suddenly you're now in this place where you look like you don't know what you're doing or don't know what you're talking about. So I learned this a lot is that I want you to be able to have conversations. In particular, over the next couple of weeks, you're going to have interesting conversations with your parents, with your friends, with your colleagues about this process. So you want to have this conversation the right way. You may feel in these early conversations like an imposter because you don't know very much about your topic yet. You haven't really done a lot of the research and interviewing and frankly, like it's early. And so I don't want you to feel that way because that can sometimes shut you off from having conversations that can turn very fruitful. I'll tell you a real story. There was one of my authors who started this program this summer and he was a little bit nervous about the whole thing. And I told him, listen, you just got to have more conversations. And so he was like, okay, fine. Fourth of July weekend, he goes to this barbecue and someone says, what do you do? And he's like, I saw what I do. And he says, oh, and I'm also writing this book. Suddenly kind of the room all turns to him. It's like, you're writing a book? What, what's your book about? And he was very nervous at first, but he sort of decided to have the conversation. Well, it turned out that he actually, through this conversation, met someone who her brother is actually a New York Times bestselling author who is now like really involved in helping him out. But that wouldn't have happened unless he was willing to talk and engage about his book. So I want you to try and sort of figure out how to have these conversations. But here's the biggest, most important thing. You do not need to show off how smart you are. Right? That's not the goal. The goal here is not to say, like, look at how smart I am and the most brilliant person. Instead, I want you to show how curious you are. That's the goal of this entire conversation. I want you to sit down and tell them, like, I'm just learning this. I'm really excited about it. And so this is the way that I want you to start to think about how you're going to develop your answer in this way. So the first thing is I want you to sort of start out with this conversation starter. It's like, yeah, listen, I'm writing a book, but I'm just in the early stages. Right? So, so set the expectation of where you are. That's the first thing. Number two, I want you to talk about a working title. And that's one of the exercises we're gonna to do tonight is I want you to have a working title. Whether or not it's the final title is irrelevant. I will tell you that I've done this with now like about 500 authors. I've only had four of them have the title that they gave in this working title exercise stick all the way through the end. So your title will likely change, and so don't worry about whether it's a perfect title or not, but just give them a working title because that will help you understand where it's gonna go. Second thing I want you to, or third thing I want you to start to talk about is talk about the themes you're exploring. I'm exploring things at the intersection of X and Y, how these two things fit together. So look at intersections, and then lastly sort of talk a little bit about this idea of like, I'm early in this process, but I'm starting to have early conversations and interviews in that way, and tell them who you're looking to speak with. I'd love to speak to people who are painters. I want to speak to people who are thoughtful about race relations. I want to understand people who are interested in technology. But use these as sort of the tools that are going to help you in that way. And if you see people who sort of engage with you, ask them. So if you had any interesting conversations and intersections in this way that we can talk about, a lot of the early conversations you'll have may not seem like they could be that promising, but Oftentimes by engaging people one more step, most everyone knows someone and that can lead to some really great places. So I want you to be thinking about for the next month, engage in more conversations about your book, but don't try to show off how smart you are. Show off how curious you are. And that's kind of the importance behind this one. So ask people who you should speak with. Who should I speak with? And again, one of the easiest things I would tell you to do this week is I want you all to have a conversation with people in your family your parents, your sisters, your brothers, your uncles, your aunts, and tell them like, hey, listen, I'm starting this early journey. I'd love to just talk to you about it a little bit, like have these early conversations because they may not be particularly helpful yet, but they will know people who are helpful. And that's kind of the combination is to understand how to use those conversations from there. So just don't try to show how smart you are. Try to turn these conversations to opportunities and I think you'll see them very succeed. So here's what I want you guys to do. I'm gonna have you guys pair up really quickly and I want you to take a couple minutes and just introduce yourself to your neighbor. What I want you to do, so you two, you two, you two, you two, and you three. And I want you to basically pretend that you guys, well, I'm actually gonna, you guys know each other already, so I'll split you guys up a little bit. So why don't, uh, why don't I split you guys in that way? So you two and you two in that way. But introduce yourselves to each other and basically try and go through this conversation. Tell them that you're working on a book. 
and sort of see where this goes. All right, so take just the next couple minutes, pair up in this way, and have a quick conversation. I want you guys to get in the habit of just practicing having these conversations. Again, the goal this week is to keep talking about your book. Have those early conversations so that people can start to ask you, so what is your book about? And you don't feel a little uncomfortable at it, right? I mean, those ideas of like, if you're just saying, just, I'm just in those early phases, you know, and that kind of idea behind it can really lower the expectations so that people don't expect you to show off how smart you are. Because again, I'm working on a book and then like I don't know anything can kind of feel like this weird tension, which is what you should be doing, but it's hard to sort of balance those two. So just be comfortable saying I'm in the process of gathering and see if they can get you can get their help to gather along the way.